Hi everyone, welcome back. Who's ready for a haul? I know you are. Me and mom went shopping yesterday. Nordstrom Rack and TJ Maxx. Did a little more damage at TJ Maxx than Nordstrom Rack. So, let's start with the rack. It's Sunday, I have no makeup on, just have a shower, hair's drying. Fun, fun. Okay, first item I scored. The Bomb. Appetite Eyeshadow Palette, or Appetite. This is normally about $40, and I got it for $14.97. I've heard good and bad about this palette. It says, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. And then the front, this little piece flips down. So you can still just see the shadows. But even on the bomb site at, say, 50% off, it's still almost 20. So for 15, why not give it a shot? And the other awesome item that I scored was the Smashbox Lighting Theory palette. Comes like this. This retails, I think about, well on the box it says 65. Sephora, I believe it was 45. Right now on Sephora, it's 39. And I paid 29.97. I have the other Smashbox um, Theory Master Classes, but of course I deposited them all. This has, these are all cream products. So this is like color correctors, um, cream contour, and um, cream highlight. And then this side has blushes. Oh God, that's gonna blind you guys. Blushes and the shadows. And these are always the quality eyeshadows from Smashbox. These pieces do, you can literally pop them right out of here. Since it has the cream products, I think I'm gonna leave this one alone. And maybe I'll just put it on the wall behind me. It has the nice little closure. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh yeah. I'll pop it up there for now. <laughs> get it out of the way. But you get, let's just say, 16 photo op eyeshadows, three blushes, four color correctors, three contouring creams, three cream highlighters, and then they give you the inserts to show you different looks and everything. So that was my Nordstrom rack. I don't really do well there with clothes or anything. The clothes are still always outrageously expensive. So, but I do happen to occasionally score some good makeup there. So that's the only reason I stopped to see what's in the makeup section. Okay, the TJ Maxx haul. Yeah. <laughs> I did go to two different ones though. Okay. I'm always looking for a new bag to take to IMAX with me. It's been a tough one, but I did find this one's Nine West. This was $29.99. I always put so much packing in all these. Okay, so this is a pretty big bag here. And what I love is it has this center section. Like I said, when I'm in New York, I like to have you know, safety first. So in this center section is where my wallet would be. Because then I can use the zipper and now this is also zipped inside. And then I have both big side pockets here. Plus, you know, the pockets on the side hold your cell phone and everything like that. I usually like a little bit of a longer strap, but I'm short. So luckily, but it's, it's a big bag. But for $30, this one might be going with me, unless I find something else in the meantime, but other than that, it's a cute bag. And was 30 bucks. Okay. I can't even fit everything on the table in front of me, this stuff's so big. This was a really good score. Juicy Couture. This is a set. <laughs> this has the 3.4 ounce bottle of the Juicy Couture perfume. And then it has a body sorbet and a shower gel. Now I know this perfume, being the 3.4 ounce, gotta be around $90 just for the perfume. This whole set, 
$26. That's why I couldn't pass it up. I'm like, it's $26 and you're getting a full-size bottle of Juicy Couture. Had to grab that. Let me put this down. <laughs> Don't want to break it. Okay, I think I can bring the rest up here. Oh, boy. Oh, I forgot about the other bag. Okay, yeah, I went a little crazy at TJ Maxx. Uh, one of the things I always pick up, these are by Nature Love, and there's another brand, too, that I get. These are called detoxifying foot pads. And I know I've talked about these before. You put the little pad on the bottom of your foot. You use per, light pair of socks on, sleep with them overnight, and it, like, you know, pulls all the toxins out of your body. You do it for, like, five days in a row. That's why there's ten pads. And these run about $6. And I've been using these for months. Um, another one I use a lot is the Spa Life Exfoliating Foot Treatments. Another little just sock, put them on, half hour, wash it off, good to go. These run about $4, and I believe you get two in here, yes. These are always the best deal at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. If you go online at Spa Life, one pair is like $8, I think. So it's like, no, I'll just find them at TJ Maxx. I did find this lip set, Matte Liquid Lipstick Bulbs by Jenna Taylor, which I've never heard of her. This was only $5. You do get five pretty shades in here. So last night I tried this one quickly and it's a thinner formula, which is great. And you can't really, really fill it on your lips. It did dry down nice. I had it on for about, oh, maybe about three hours and it did last. And considering that's like a deeper berry shade, it really wasn't patchy. I was pretty impressed. So. I'll keep you guys updated on these, but for five dollars for five lipsticks, it's a buck a piece. You know I love saving some money. Okay, get rid of those. Um, <laughs> the Buxom set. This is Buxom Freezes Over Plumping 15 Piece Mini Lip Collection. And this is where you get the lip polish, the lip creams, and the new Wildly Whipped. So there's a bunch in here, and they're you know they're the good size. The Deluxe, or probably even better than the Deluxe. It says it's a $59 value. I paid $30. But even at $30 for $15, it's like two bucks a piece. And I love Buxom Lippies. There's a lot of fun colors in here. I mean, the price still possibly could go down, but I wasn't missing it because I've been waiting on Sephora for this to go down in price. And they haven't brought that price down yet. Okay, what else did I get in here? Oh. I had just run out of nail polish remover. So I saw this on the shelf and I figured why not, I'll give it a shot. And it has like the pump. This was $3. Professional remover, salon formula. I guess it smells like strawberries. Why would I care what it smells like? It's taking my nail polish off. Okay, what else we got in here? This is a good find too. You know I love Alginist, all their skincare. This is the Reveal Color Correct Bronzing Powder. Now of course in Marshalls and all that, sometimes I hate opening packages, but on something like this, I was not taking a chance to make sure somebody hadn't swatched it or touched it. And luckily it's perfect. It's in perfect condition. So I definitely cannot wait to try this. And this only costs $9.99 and it's Normally, it says compare 18. That may or may not be right. I'm not sure. But I love my alginist, and I'm definitely going to give this a try since tanning season's coming up. Okay, what else do we have here? I picked up... I never heard of this brand either, I don't believe. Did it say which brand it is? Yeah, man, we'll try anything. Posh Matte Liquid Lipstick Long Wearing Matte Lipsticks. This is what the packaging looks like. So I picked up two shades. Oh, they're by Measurable Differences. I, I think I have several products from them, actually. So it looks like a deep purple one here is called Knee Socks. Let's take them out of the box. I didn't even look at them. Oh, okay. And I'll keep you obviously updated on these also. And these were $2.99. And the other one is a Tension Seeker. I'm guessing is a pink. The box looks pink. Oh yeah. 
That's like a pinky purple. No scent, so that's good. So we got these two. And then, remember the Chera Moya, this brand? They had the, where was the lip, like the stain, when you had a, it was all gooey and gross. I'm not gonna hold that against them. I'll still try other products from them. So this is the Liquid Metal Lipstick. Of course I got a purple shade. This was $3. Let me see if we can get this out of here. Where are my scissors? I just ripped packaging apart. I'm gonna get it out of here one way or another for you guys. Now this looks pretty. This looks really pretty. It has a light scent, but I don't know what it is. But it's not gross or anything like that. So this is another one that I'll I'll give them a shot, but I hope it's nothing like that other liquidy weird one. God, that was horrible. And I think, was that it? That's all of it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack Haul. Might want to go see what yours have. I try to go once a week or so to usually TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I haven't gone in a couple weeks, but now that I'm on the hunt for another bag, I'm going to go to the other two Marshalls that are in two different towns. Just to always check the bags. You always score with uh, pocketbooks bags there because Nordstrom Rack, they were still like $200 going, no, I'm not paying $200 for a bag. That's going to happen. Okay. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. I'm going to keep filming here and got some more goodies for you. All right. Have a great day. Bye.